Back to the recovery of Texas, and tonight the federal government is offering to help families recover. FEMA is already taking applications from homeowners and renters whose personal belongings have been damaged. Now, Chris, the details, as you know, are still a little bit murky, mm -hmm. but many people in our area may qualify. KPRC2 investigator Joel Eisenbaum has a look at how you can apply and the pitfalls you should avoid. With the storm over, the work's just starting. I've never seen nothing like this. In Hundreds of thousands of us are now looking for help. It's coming, says the president. God willing, it will bring a lot of relief to a lot of Texans. FEMA's disaster assistance website for our winter storm is already active. It's for both homeowners and even renters. Renters who have damaged personal belongings. Well, if you've got five or six figures worth of damage to your home, we can't cover that, but can we help? Um, you will be referred over to the Small Business Administration. The Small Business Administration side of the government dole out is a low interest loan. The FEMA financial assistance is a grant. You don't have to pay it back. Let's focus on that. At click2houston.com slash investigates, we've got the easiest way to get you directly to the online application. First, have your social security number, annual household income, contact, insurance and bank account information that's for direct deposit next just click through the steps it doesn't take that long but get ready to wait i have not received the money that i was told christine tremonte is still waiting she filed for assistance after harvey harvey that happened three and a half years ago this is what Tremonti's Northwest Harris County home looked like during the flood. She applied for FEMA funds through a local assistance program. That's slightly different than what you're doing, but boy, has she had trouble. They just asked me for my 2019 tax return for the flood that happened in 2017. So you document everything. Everybody you talk to get their name, phone number, email address, the agency they work for. Tremonte's cautionary tale should not discourage you from applying for FEMA assistance but banking on it is another matter there are hoops photos and a paperwork trail are not just preferred they're required down the line before you get paid out and FEMA is also quick to point out that if damage is covered by an insurance claim you cannot seek federal dollars for the same repair in fact they call that fraud FEMA's role is not to put everything back the way it was FEMA's role is to get you through the disaster in the short term so that you're on your way to recovery. It's a waiting game, and I'm, they're gonna, uh, I, I, won't, I won't give up. I won't give up. I'm, they, they're gonna, they can't outweigh me. There's an estimated 40 to $50 billion of damage across Texas. The pool of money available to Texans via FEMA is not yet perfectly clear, but expect the low end of four digits as the maximum payouts per household. Get started at click2houston.com slash investigates. Joel Eisenbaum, KPRC, 2 News.